Well, good morning, everyone, and uh, a very warm welcome to From the Vicar's Study yet again. And we are still in Philippians chapter 3 uh, this morning as we work towards our Sunday morning service together. And I have a question, which is a really important question. How do you know that you're going to get to, uh, to heaven, to the new creation, actually, uh, to be with Jesus? And how do you know it's going to be worth it? Two questions, really. I want you to hit pause and just discuss it with whoever's in the room with you. How do you know you're going to get there? How do you know it's going to be worth it? It, it can leave us uh, questioning, can't it? Because Paul is really convinced that we are going to get there. And what's more, that it's worth leaving everything else behind and pressing on towards that goal. Paul's confidence isn't in himself, though, is it? Because if, if it relies on us, on our strength, on our godliness and our goodness, uh, we know we'll fail. If it depends on us, uh, then we are really not sure we're going to get there at all. Are we? And if we look at ourselves, and we often do, we can have great doubts, can't we? But Paul wants us to know uh, that it's real. We can't see the new creation, but we're supposed to fix our eyes on it, our spiritual eyes. How do we know it's real? Well, chapter two told us, didn't it? Uh, let's just listen to this again. Therefore, God exalted him to the highest place and gave him the name that is above every name. How do we know that the, the resurrection is real? Because Jesus was raised. If Jesus wasn't raised, then Christianity is a nonsense. But if Jesus was raised, you'd ask, where is he now? He's in heaven at the right hand of the Father, awaiting the day when God puts all things under his feet. So heaven is real, and the new creation that, that God has promised, the, the new heavens and the earth that will come down from heaven, from God, um, they are real, because that's where Jesus is. But how do we know we're going to get there? What has Philippians told us about that? Well, we were told, weren't we, uh, in uh, verse 14, that God has called us heavenwards. It's God's purpose to bring us there. Confidence is not in ourselves, it's in him. And actually, Paul is resting on uh, the power of the resurrection. The power that raised Jesus from the dead is the power that is at work to carry us on to the day when we're raised to be with him. So how do we know uh, that it's real? Jesus is raised. How do we know that we're going to get there? Because God's power that raised Jesus is going to raise us too. Is is working us now to make us like Jesus already. But there's a little bit extra that, that we're being told in our passage for Sunday that is worth a little dwell on as well. Um, we eagerly await a saviour from there, the heavens, to come and, and bring in the day of judgment and bring us home. Uh, the Lord Jesus Christ, who by the power that enables him to bring all things under his control. So that power idea again, the power of God to raise the dead, seat Jesus at the right hand of the Father, will transform our lowly bodies so they'll be like his glorious body. In our weakness, in our sinfulness, in our uh, desire for this world, uh, we can be uh, become so uh, short-sighted, so... Uh, flawed that we forget that heaven will be worth it because everything in us every sinful impulse every uh, desire for, for ungodly things every uh, godly desire perverted to wrong causes will be fixed how can heaven be worth it the power of god that raised jesus from the dead and that will bring all things under his control will transform our frail, weak and sinful selves so that we're like his glorious body. You can take some time today to read one of the gospel accounts of the Transfiguration, Mark chapter 9, for example. And there we see uh, Peter, James and John just bowled over by the, the, the resurrection glory of Jesus that they're seeing in advance of that resurrection, the Transfiguration. Jesus shining like the sun in his purity, in his God-likeness, and, and we will be glorious like him. We will shine like stars. We uh, will be sinless, uh, corruptionless, uh, pain-free, and home. All of that rests not on our power, but on the promise and power of God, 
we can be sure that heaven is real, that the new creation will come. We can be sure that we'll get there. And we can be sure that it's worth it because everything that is that makes this world uh, difficult, God is going to uh, purify that away by the power that raised Jesus from the dead to make us glorious. That is a thought to, to dwell on today, isn't it? Why don't I give you some time to do that? Let me pray. And then you can reflect in praise of God on those things. Heavenly Father, thank you that you are powerful to do what we can't do, to raise the dead, to transform us, to be like Jesus. Thank you for that prospect. Thank you that we'll know each other on that day, but glorified. Please would you enable us to dwell on that hope and to believe it surely for ourselves. In Jesus' name.